Welcome to Basic Skills. Today we're over at one of Polyface's contract farms. Cows all think I'm here to move them, but we're going to look at the fencing systems they use and see, see how they keep their cows and hopefully we can learn a little bit better about how to do it more efficiently on our own farms by looking at what they do. One of the first things I'm noticing here is that they've got their road fenced off on both sides with a permanent fence with a just single strand electric wire. It looks like heavy gauge aluminum wire. And then they've got another fence on top of the hill there and one way over there on top of that hill. So all they have to do is run one strand just straight across the field on each end and they've got a paddock. So, and then, so they need basically three reels of wire. They run one here and one there. They got that paddock, they one run there. And they just keep going that way. I would have thought that they would have wanted to graze the road, but I guess the way it probably works is if your cows are grazing the road, you can't get through. So say you got to feed hay um, a couple days in the fall, you've got to be able to get your trailer in through here with the hay to be able to feed them ahead of the cows. And if you've got them moving through and they're on the road, you won't be able to access everything properly. The other thing is if you've got a nice long road, you could just close off both ends and let them graze the road for a day. I guess that would, that's probably how that works instead of letting the cows in on the road all the time. They make a nice little path, they can move the cows through there easy, and then they're not in the way when they're trying to move equipment around. Another thing I'm seeing here is we got a gate every couple hundred yards and you just have this little aluminum jumper that goes, the gate hooks to an insulator here, the jumper goes around the post, and so you can unhook it here and you don't have power down there, you just have the power here. And then your gate goes across and they got another jumper at the other end. So you could have either side powering the gate and nothing beyond it from either direction. And it lets, gives you access, you can get your tractor or whatever into the field here without having to worry about running over your fencing or anything. Right here is the bottom end of the wire that's for the paddock and they've got this little clip so they'll take their reel, wrap it around a few times a couple different ways, then the clip goes on and holds it here. So you don't need a post to loop your reel over, you just hook it right to the wire and you can go anywhere between the posts or whatever. So I'm just gonna run up to the top of the hill here, see how they hook their fence up at the top. You got your uh, mineral box there. It looks like they refill it every time the cows eat it all. It doesn't even have a top on it, just a little wooden box there. So this fence here, it's not straight or anything. They've been feeding hay up this hill in nice rows, not straight rows, but nice rows. And the fence just kind of follows the curves the, where the hay is. Straight fences are not something that is worried about around here, I don't think. So up here at this end, they've just got an old page wire fence with one strand of barbed wire across the top. I doubt this is even their fence originally. And then they've just tied their poly wire just around the post there and then strung it down that way. It's an easy slip knot, so it holds tight, but it's quick to take off. The front side of the paddock here is hooked up a little differently. Same method wrapping it around the post here or the aluminum wire here, but the this reel is a different style, so they did put an extra post in to hold it because they don't it doesn't have one of the little clips to just hanging off the fence. So this is a little bit more of what I've been doing, but still they wrap it around, it's a constant feed on this wire. They just run a single one up to the top of the hill there, and it doesn't even get power at that, and it's just got power here. And but it's all wrapped and everything, so it's not like it's coming off and letting the cows out anytime soon. So their water system starts right here. They've got this big piece of wood on top to keep it from freezing. And then they've got a couple feet of a, just a plastic um, culvert buried in here, plastic piece of pipe to keep it, the sidewalls from caving in, I guess. Um, and then they've got 
their hose line comes running along the fence here and they just have a T here with a valve and hook on to there. Uh, 30 foot hose that goes across to a 100 gallon stock tank with a float valve in it. So when the cows yeah. drink it down, it just fills it back up again. And I believe on this one, they're running it from, from a pump. They don't have a pond that's uphill enough on this property here. So they pump it up here, keep the pressure on it, and away it goes. As soon as the cows drink that down, it fills up again. And I mean, the pigs are hooked on the same system. I believe they've got chickens hooked on the same system. So this system can take a lot of, a lot of water flow through it. So I had a chance to feed hay with them a couple days ago and we fed out, I forget, six days worth or something like that. And they're just using big squares and you cut the strings off, throw it off flake by flake. Um, and they make nice rows here. They got tonight's hay there, then tomorrow's right here, and then this will be the third day. Then they'll come back, flatbed trailer, bring the tractor in here, just throw it off flake by flake. and make a nice row and then they can just run their wire up between the rows and feed one day at a time and move across the field as they go. The last thing I want to talk about is the fencer here. They got a Premier One solar fencer. Um, it's just got one button on or off. It doesn't do all the adjustments. Um, I've had the, I use a lot of speed right fencers and they've got an adjustment thing. But this one, it doesn't. It flashes green when it's battery's good red when it's running out of battery so I guess that's 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 pretty much what I would use anyway um, solar powered when the days get shorter apparently this one struggles a little bit because it doesn't get enough sunlight but I believe you can charge it separately anyway and then their ground rod they just push it in by hand they don't pound it in like four feet or anything they just push it in only it goes in a foot and a half or so but it powers the fence pretty good I got shocked the other day and this fencer is no joke. I, I, I jumped pretty high that day. If you haven't heard of Polyface Farms, make sure you check them out. Polyfacefarms.com. They do a tremendous job of raising healthy animals, and they've been doing it for a long time, 50, 60 years now, I think. So they do a tremendous job. Joel's written a number of books on the subject, and they're one of the leaders in sustainable agriculture and grass-fed beef and all that sort of thing. So make sure you check them out. If you enjoyed this video and like to see other ones, please, you can check them out right there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a little bit of support. All right, thanks a lot. Ah. Oh no. Sweet. Mess that up.